Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Heart Aries, my name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm gonna to be doing your full moon in Aries reading. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanna read a little excerpt here about the full moon in Aries for the sign of Aries, okay? So it says, it's time to make your own rules and adhere to them. No matter what anyone says, after all, you're the one calling the shots and in control of your own destiny. How will you choose to live your best life? Do what feels right for you in order to be happy. So Aries, this is our time, our time to shine. That sounds cliche, but it really is. Um, I know a lot of Aries have been going through very difficult times and various areas of your life. And this is a great time to call back your power, right? To set your goals your intentions for whatever it is that you want to see in your life. Where where do you want to be successful in your life, right? And I mean, bulldoze through, get reinvigorated with this full moon energy. This is our moon. This is a very, very powerful time for us. Do not neglect this energy. It's also a time to reevaluate relationships, where you may be drained, where you may be giving too much, where you may need to set your boundaries, um, or what kind of relationships may be blocking you or blocking the road to success for you, okay? But definitely a time to call your power back, definitely time to set, to close out cycles and have like set your intention for new beginnings and what you want to see in your life manifest as far as success goes, okay? Um, yes, personal power. So the overall energy for this reading we have in the moonology is luck is on your side. So again, this talks about right now not missing this opportunity of this, this energy that we're in to manifest and set your intention for your goals right now, okay? Um, if you've been going through anything that's been quite difficult for you, just know that the universe is backing you, okay, right now. So don't sleep. Don't sleep on any opportunities. Don't, you know, don't drag your feet right now. I know because I feel like a lot of people have been going through situations where they've gotten so bad to where you just want to give up, right? And you're at that 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 end of the road where you're just like, I'm just going to throw my hands up. This is the time where you get back on the saddle, so to speak, okay? Do not give up. The, use this energy here to bulldoze through any of those problems. We have hold your vision. Hold your vision. Do not lose sight of what it is that you are trying to accomplish. We have surrender to the divine. Yes, full moon energy. So let it go. Let it all go. Surrender your problems. Surrender whatever difficult situations you've been dealing with. Surrender it. Let it go. This is the perfect time to do that right now, Aries. So we have commitment and it came out in reverse. And I'm going to read it. It says, you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that Love is the essence of your very being, okay? So commitment came out in reverse and it made me think of here, this card hold your vision. There may have been a test that, have, that has come up for you areas in your life and it was trying to test you to see how committed you were to your goal or to your vision, okay? So even if you have to take a break, you know, recalibrate, whatever, just make sure you don't give up on your dreams or your vision that you have for yourself for success. We have perseverance, exactly, to persevere. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. That is truly the energy of this Aries full moon. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do, okay? And we have relationships, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah. I also feel like, and I said this, it's a period here to reevaluate certain relationships in your life and see if they're serving you. Okay. See if they are serving you or do they compliment you? Um, are there people here who are like-minded, um, who share the same values with you or helping you in some way get to your goals as are you helping them as well, right? balanced relationships. Let's see him. So I'm going to pull some from the tea leaf card. Tea leaf deck. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'll pull three. And there we go. I had it. Two more came out. Okay. So the bottom of the deck is a tower, which is a different type of tower. It says solid foundation, success with effort. Yeah. Do not give up Aries. Do not give up on your goals. 
and hold your vision. So the first card that came out is the diamond, Aries. This is our um, birthstone, I believe. I think there's another one, which I always knew it to be diamond, but I don't know what the other one is. Let me know if you guys know. So it says, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. What else do we have? Tree. Affairs with your family. Okay. And bear. Danger, especially in money matters. Yeah, I feel that somebody here may have been going through money issues, but this is a time to set your intention to change that around. Okay. All right. So let's pull here from the Kipper. Holy Spirit, just please let me know your prayer message here for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Lamisa. I saw something flip. Oh, okay. All right. So we have Thief here. Okay. Every time I see, I'm going to pull from the finance card, my financial deck here. Every time I see that card, I always think you got a thief in your pocket. Ooh, okay. We have sudden wealth here, kind of slid on the table and was kind of crossing here. So Aries, if you're getting any money, right, or any money that you think may be coming in, or if you don't know it's coming in, make sure you keep that to yourself, right? Keep your goals quiet. Um, keep whatever projects you're working on quiet. And, and especially if you get any sort of abundance or gift, keep that quiet as well. Okay. So if you are having money issues, danger, especially in money matters, there is some sort of abundance, some sort of sudden wealth that's coming in. Now the thief card could be somebody, you know, could be a scammer, could be the government. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it could be something here that is taking from you, especially in a time of need. All right. So let's see here. Two more cards. Family room, more energy of family and judication. So this could also do about do with legal situations, child support, um, things like that that may come up. Let me see what else is here. What is that with the family room? Tell me what this is with the family room. I'm just hearing spend. Ooh, I'm just hearing spending more time with family. Tell me about the family room. Yeah, distant horizon. So maybe if your family is at a distance, a long distance, they may be coming to visit you, or you may need to make that a priority. Okay, family relationships in general. I see child here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here may need to make that a priority. Um, you know, nurturing those relationships could be with a child, an older child. Um, could be with your parents. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. What do we have here for Aries for this full moon? What does Aries need to see for this full moon? Ooh. These parts are so slick. Your past supports your future. Number 11 again. So sudden wealth was number 11, and now this is 11, 11, 11. So your past supports your future. I feel like this is about taking the lessons from the past, right, and using that to move forward. So you never have to re repeat certain mistakes again, okay? It doesn't necessarily, some people may be coming with you from your past, but I feel like this is about the lessons that you've learned. Find your sacred flow. Give us few more here. What does Aries need to see? Creator air. So this is about new ideas. Okay. Um, starting actually putting those new ideas into action, creator air. Okay. Um, and also what I'm hearing is getting those ideas out of your head and putting them on notepad, putting them on paper. Sometimes I'm really bad at that too. I'll have all these great ideas and then just keep them in my head. And before you know, you're trying to remember something and you can't. So I keep a notebook with me at all times now. That may be something for you, but this is something here about being innovative, okay? Creating something new um, and manifest. Look at that. Manifesting and doing. Manifesting and doing. This talks about inspired action, 
Okay, think about you're thinking about it, and then you you um then you I was supposed to say then you be about it. <laughs> but whatever you're thinking, Aries, don't leave it in your head, right? Inspired action. Whenever you hear that calling to do something or act on something, go for it. Okay. Give us one more. Shift the way to new potential. 29, which also reduces to 11. Again, shift the way to new potential. Yeah. Okay, here, let's pull some finance cards here. See what Aries needs to see. What do we have here for Aries in this full moon energy? For the people who need the financial messages the most. Okay. Lawsuit payout. Okay. So that is in alignment with this adjudication here and the sudden wealth. Um, if you know that you could be possibly getting some sort of lawsuit payout, make sure you keep that to yourself as well, right? Especially if your family is nosy, they're wanting to know what you're getting and things like that. I have spiritual blockages. Okay. Spiritual blockages and acquiring real estate. Hmm, okay, I can see that with the family here and the adjudication. Spiritual blockages. So Aries, spirit, what are spiritual blockages? This could be any, This is what I always say is whenever you're not listening to the divine, that's what's usually gonna create a spiritual blockage. It also can be people who are in your life who have negative or low vibrations, or it could be you doing things that are negative and low vibrating, okay? And that could be anything from thinking negatively from actually doing something that is harmful to your spirit and your energy and your soul okay so let's see here look at that okay so this could be someone in particular it says someone you're connected to is blocking your abundance okay let's pull an ancestor message here Holy Spirit, because my Holy Spirit is on every time I switch it. The new areas of life to have everything we can see right now. This is the Earth Mother. First time getting this card. Oh, beautiful card. Feel loved and comforted. So know that you are loved and comforted. Okay. Love that. I don't want that light to go off right there. Let's pull some love cards here and see what's close what cycles are closing out in love for Aries right now. Great. Holy Spirit, spirit guys and angels. Please let me know what card message here for Aries. What do we have here for Aries? So we have express your love. Tell us about Aries love life. Pay attention to the red flags and codependency. Give us one more. Playfulness. Aries, I feel like there may be a situation here, a cycle rather, right? When the codependency card comes out, usually this is an indication that someone here is connected or has been connected with someone where it was a bit of an unhealthy attachment or a cycle here. I feel with the express your love, this person may be coming back in, right? Trying to get you back or they could, yeah, yeah. They could be coming back in to get you back or there's an opportunity where they come in to speak, okay? Because I see very soon, clearly decide on what you want. Now is the time, now is the time to speak your truth, right? With this person, speak your truth, not playing any games. It's just like, you know that you deserve better, okay? We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life and playfulness, okay? Sometimes that card comes out. I get the energy of someone. It could be new energy, but with these cards surrounding, it's like someone who may not have taken your love serious. And so when this person comes back in looking for attention again or wanting to, um, you know, express themselves in a way to try to get you back in, that would be the time for you to set your boundaries, okay? Because what you're doing is setting the tone for 
future relationships and future people to come in. Yeah, separation. It's time for a break. Time apart from this person. Um, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. At the bottom of the deck, you deserve love. So that's my card that you deserve better, Aries, okay? All right, so if you guys are not connected to anyone, this message, it may not be for you, or if this is something that has happened in the past and it sounds familiar, maybe it's time for you to clear your energy, cut, like do a core cutting and clear your energy. Um, so no energies like that will come back in. Okay. So I wasn't really quite sure. I didn't decide on what deck I was using. But I do want to pull one more before we go. Before we get started, I'm going to pull one from the goddess, African goddess oracle. Okay, what do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, sunrise, and close the energy of this full moon. Seasons, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Number 33 at the bottom of the deck, speak up. Season. So this talks about a brand new beginning. Number one, you have a lot of ones, ones and elevens, okay? So new beginnings here, Aries, manifestations coming in or intentions being set under this full moon. Do not neglect it. All right. So not this one. Okay, this is the gold deck. All right, we'll do the gold deck. I never really start with this deck. I usually clarify. But let's see what's going on with this. The spirits, spirits, and angels, please allow me to make a message with for the Aries Collective. All these cards are a little jumbled. All right, let me see. I'll leave them there. All right, so what is the situation here for Aries with this full moon? Oof, King of Swords in reverse. I don't know if these cards are all. No, very good. Okay, King of Swords in reverse, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. But the King of Swords in reverse is not a nice energy, okay? It is not a nice energy. This could be somebody here who communicates very harshly. Um, this is could be also a very dishonest person, narcissistic person here, um, verbally abusive type of energy. I'm, I'm was did not see this coming at all. This type of energy, but hold on a second. I feel like there's someone here angry that may have been angry that you cut them out of your life. Very angry energy here, okay? Let's see here. What is the challenge for Aries? That could be male or female. Ah, the Empress. Okay, so new love, new beginning. So Aries, you've been dealing or dealt with somebody like this in your past. There's also this King of Swords energy could be a representation of many different people, but it's an energy here, okay? The Empress here talks about self-love, nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, putting yourself on the pedestal that you deserve, okay? This has been a challenge for someone to put themselves where they deserve to show yourself the love that you deserve and i feel like you may have been in the re receiving this type of treatment from someone negative treatment like i said verbal abuse narcissism you have been putting yourself in a position to be i don't want to say you know like it was your fault but you have been in the energy or kept yourself in relationships that were verbally or um emotionally abusive Okay, King of Swords energy here. Um, with the Empress in the challenge position, Aries doesn't mean that you're not in this energy, but it may have you may have been a challenge for you to get there. Okay. All right. So let's see here. What does Spirit want you focusing on now? Woo Page of Cups and the Devil here. 
Aries, I feel like you're going to be receiving, this is almost a warning that you're going to be receiving a message here from someone who, whoever this king, because king of swords energy in reverse is kind of like the double energy, not in the way that, you know, you're attached to it, but that negative type of um, toxic energy. Um, and somebody here may be reaching out, sending you a message, wanting to apologize or some sort of emotional message here. Give me one more here. What is, what is Aries need to focus on with this? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Aries, I would be careful because this might be the energy that comes into your life where it says spiritual blockages. What did it say at the bottom? Someone you're connected to is blocking, blocking your abundance with the nine of pentacles in reverse. This could be the drain, right? In your pocket. It's somebody who has, if they're not even in your life right now, it's somebody whose attention I'm seeing is focused on you because this devil's gaze, ooh wee, right? They are focused on you. You may not even be speaking to this person. Capricorn energy, but they may be either upset that you left them um, left them out in the cold or you let go of them. Oh, my child is coughing. Okay. Hmm. I think the message here is to not let this person back in as well. Like you've said everything that you need to say or you're going to and to be careful not to let this energy back in. Okay. Tell us here about what happened in the past or Aries, six of swords. So yeah, definitely moved away from this person. Trying to heal, trying to move to calmer waters, to more peace. You had to get out of a toxic situation that was literally draining you. I'm also seeing here with the nine of pentacles in reverse, somebody's health could not be great. Okay. Somebody's health could not be great. And that's why they could be trying to come in to play nice and apologize. Could be their physical health or their finances as well. All right. What's crowning Aries? Magician. Oh, okay. Magician. So these are the manifestations here. New beginnings coming in. Uh, Gemini energy. Aries, I'm here and keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. I feel like there's a distraction that's about to come in. Look at that. When I said that, the tower at the bottom of the deck and the ten of swords and the chariot. Yeah, there's some sort of distraction that is about to come in. During this full moon, you are setting your attention, intention here for a new life, a new beginning. And you're going to mean it, right? And you're going to put the energy behind it and the passion behind it, right? And don't think that that's not going to come without some sort of test or some sort of, you know, every time you tend to get back on track, there's always something that comes up, but it's about how you deal with it and how you handle it. Okay. This one right here may catch you off guard. I'm not going to lie. Either you've already dealt with this person and you've already told them off and, but they may be trying to come back. If not, if you haven't, then this is going to be the conversation where you do that. But with the magician here, your manifestations are about to come in for you, okay? They may have been stagnant, you know, it may have been slow to come in, but they're about to come. But so is temptation. So is temptation. All right, what's coming in the future here for Aries? The death card, transformation. Yeah, out with the old, in with the new. So it is coming, change is coming. Scorpio energy as well. King of Wands energy in reverse at the bottom of the deck. What you're praying for is coming. Okay. So it's almost like how bad do you want the new? That's what I'm getting. Let's see here. What is Aries energy? Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Very nostalgic here. Some, some of you may be in the past reminiscing about a loved one or a lover. Queen of Cups energy. This is also self-love. Right? Following your intuition. Your emotional guidance system is what I'm hearing here. Some of you may still have love for this person, and that's what the hard part is. All right, let's see what's in Aries' environment. Hmm. 
the judgment. The judgment was in reverse and it flipped upright. So someone here is coming back around for a second chance. <laughs> I, mm, you know how people say, oh, I, you know, because I just heard they want to see if you're still stupid. I just want to say, you want to see if you're still stupid, if you're still stuck on stupid, if you're still stupid, not literally stupid, but that's just the saying that they gave me in my head, right? Are you going to fall for the okie doke again, right? Are you going to allow somebody to come in and, you know, after all the lessons that you've learned, are you going to put those to the side for just one more chance of what you already know is going to happen, right? You already know what to expect with someone, but they're coming back in wanting to bring something back up from the past. All right. How does Aries, what's Aries in their emotions here? Ace of Cups. You know you want new Aries, Ace of Cups, new love, new beginnings here. You know, you can, I had told somebody this the other day. You don't, people I feel like sometimes wait till they, they think they're going to fall out of love with a person. And that's what's going to make it easier to walk away. And that's not the case. Sometimes the hardest lessons, the hardest things that we have to do are walk away from people that we love, whether this is a friend, okay? Page of Cups energy here, Six of Cups, whether this is a friend who's coming in to apologize to you and you know you still have a soft spot for that person, but whatever the energy that they brought into your life was very toxic, you still have to, you have a responsibility to yourself to protect yourself and to protect your energy, especially if this person is coming in with spiritual blockages or energy that could cause spiritual blockages, okay? Sudden wealth and thief, that's what that is right here, okay? Energetically, and, and you know, the person, whoever it is, they could not even know it. But Aries, this is a period of transformation for you. The question is, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to sacrifice? And is it a real sacrifice if it means that it's keeping you safe? Is it a real sacrifice if it means that it's getting you to your goals, making you happy, you know, allowing yourself to receive the things that you've never received before? Some of you, it could be family with the family room, but you have to continue to move. You have to continue to move forward, all right? The hermit here at the bottom of the deck. This may be this next phase of your life. You may just have to go alone. And I'm not saying, look at that. Eight of cups is the outcome, walking away. You may just have to go alone, seven of swords, and leave certain people behind. Two of wands here, choosing a new direction. Give us one more. Yeah, that's why relationships is important here to this, this reading for some. And it's not always everyone has to be left behind, but it could be certain people. Right. Two of swords. They can't come. All right. Spirit is saying there are people who you have to make a decision about. You have to block out certain people or you will regret it. Five of cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Ten of pentacles. Look at that. Because your abundance depends on it. Your finances, your security. Aries, we are very, despite what anybody else will say, we are very, very forgiving people. Very, very forgiving people. I think um, I posted something on my Facebook the other day. A lot of people saw it. And, you know, that's one thing that a lot of people don't know about Aries. We will forgive over and over and over and over again. I know I will. You know, and my mom for years, probably for the last 10 years, she used to always tell me, don't let these people back in. And I would do it. And I'm talking about friends, lovers, specifically friends. Don't let these people back in. It's something about a mother they can see, right? And it took me years to learn those lessons about not letting certain people back in and I get hurt all over again. Well, that's what's going to happen, Aries, if you don't make the decision to cut certain people out of your life. OK, only, you know, who these people are, only, you know, if there's someone stunting your growth and they're only, you know, you know, if there's if there's something here that you have to look in with yourself. But this is definitely here about choosing a new path, a new direction and walking away from the things or people here that are not serving you. Ace of Cups here is what you truly want. You truly want new beginnings. You truly want new relationships. But you have to, you know, let go of certain things to do that. Okay, nine of cups at the bottom of the deck and the ace of pentacles. It seems like what you want is right around the corner. All right, a wish fulfillment here is right around the corner for you. 
Let's take a look at the magician here and see what this is manifesting. Look at that. As I split the deck, Ace of Wands in the Sun. It doesn't get any better than that. And look at that underneath. They wanted you to see that, the Four of Wands. So some of you here, a little bit of sacrifice. Wow. Look at this. Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Six of Wands, the Emperor, and the Chariot. Aries. This and the Ace of Cups was hiding underneath. I mean, I tell you this. Whatever it is that you have to let go of, whatever it is that, you know, you have to part ways with, God is going to make sure that you're going to get tenfold. So if it's people, if it's relationships, you're probably about to walk into the best relationship of your life or the best soul tribe, the best soul family that you've ever experienced. Just for what I'm going to say is in hindsight, it's going to be a small sacrifice. Right now, it may feel like a big sacrifice, but looking back, it's going to be a little tiny sacrifice for the blessings that are about to come into your life, okay? Like, really, you're about to be so happy, but, and it had to, it took a lot of hurt and a lot of pain to get there, to get here, to get where you're going. Sometimes that's just how it, that's how it goes. Look at that. As I said, that three of swords. You know, hurt and pain sometimes is our best teacher. Unfortunately, that's how we learn. All right, let's take a look at the magician here. See the empress again. All right, what do we have here with the magician? Knight of Wands. Okay, what are your passions here? Following your passions. What do we have here with the magician? The Queen of Wands. Aries, what are you passionate about? Uh, Spirit wants you to get serious about your passions right now, okay? Um, your creativity, like because there's some creativity that's inside of you that needs to come out. This is about manifestations. Queen of Wands energy, Knight of Wands energy here. What makes you happy? What really gets your blood pumping? There may be something in that. Some of you, I'm saying, like, Someone dancing, like something like that, like you thought was a hobby of yours, that might be something that could turn into, you know, a part-time job or that may be your calling, right? There, but I'm just using that as an example, but it could be anything. There's something here creative for you, Aries, that is waiting to be birthed through you, okay? We have the Empress here, waiting to be birthed. Judgment here. Tell me about the death card here in the future position. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the death card and the page of wands. So there's someone here that a situation has ended. They're coming back to speak to you. There's a message coming in from this person. Seven of wands here. You're going to have to stand your ground. Okay. You're going to have to protect your energy, defend yourself, whatever it is. You're going to have to stand your ground, Aries. Okay. Tell me about the judgment. The world card. Yeah. Tell me about the judgment and the star card. You're releasing something. Whatever it is that you have to release, I'm telling you, it's a. it keeps telling the same story in all the cards. It's a small sacrifice. There's something that's coming up back from your past. And I, I always say the judgment is like a resurrection. It's like a crossroads. You get to a crossroads and you have to make a decision. Do I go this way? Do I repeat the same things over and again to learn the same lessons? Or do I say, hey, I learned my lesson and I'm going to go this way. And what's this way? Literally the world card, the end of the cycle. If you decide to go this way and healing, okay? Healing, wish fulfillment, right? What are you hoping for? What are you dreaming for? If you go this way, it's all good over here. If you go that way, not saying that it's bad, but you may need to you know, dust off the school book and go back through those lessons again. Okay. So that's all up to you on what you decide, Aries, and what is worth it for you. Okay. So let's pull a guardian angel card here to close out the reading. We have creativity. What did I say? Creativity. Okay. Um, we, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart. 
As we communicate with you through feeling and emotion, let go of fear and have apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care.